on the last episode of Resident Evil Remastered. Oh, I was about to say. What, are you kidding me? Payback time. Richard! I need serum. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Resident Evil HD Remastered. We are on episode 7 of our playthrough with Jill Valentine. I hope you guys enjoying the whole episode, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment. And let's do this. Let's keep going. All right, so I have a feeling that... Oh, wait, I used the armor key. There's no further use for this key. Discard it, absolutely. So I never went through this door. I could have sworn I did at some point. Okay, so Richard is dead. And... uh we're making progress, but still no Chris or Wesker. And I hear crows, so I'm just gonna walk. And I'm pretty sure this part is a puzzle. I have no idea. All right, they're not chasing me. Lisa, protected by the three spirits. Picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. There's a switch at the bottom of the picture. Press it. Uh, no, we're not going to press it. Let's look at this picture before we say no. She has a green crown, a purple necklace, and an orange bracelet. Okay, so I'm assuming this is what this is. Match the colors. Alright, that's, that seems self-explanatory. Match the colors, so let's go all the way back to this one. Wearing a bracelet. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and press it. Turn orange, okay. Uh, Sage wearing a necklace. Press it. Uh, shit. Let us go around. I don't know, I feel like it's, it's gotta be a mystery. Press it. All right, turn green. So we already know the uh, the crown is green. So maybe this will turn purple. No. Hmm, okay, go back. Oh, it turned purple. Okay, there we go. So we, we have the colors, right? Green crown, purple necklace, and orange bracelet. So it should work. Let's see. There we go. There we go. We got that boy open. Yeah. Oh. Is that what I think it is? Is this what I think it is? We got another death mask. Uh, uh. Mm. Got another death mask. Let's go. We got another death mask. We got four. Oh, no, let me stop playing. <laughs> let me stop. Alright, so we're back outside. So let's go all the way back. Open up our inventory, collect these four death masks, and place them downstairs in the tomb. And let's see what awaits us. Okay, let's see what awaits us. I have no idea what's down there. I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if it's going to give us a clue about Chris. Is Chris in the coffin? No, I doubt he's in the coffin. No, he's, he's not in the coffin. He can't be in the coffin. He just can't. So, um, which area is the save point? This one. Okay. Yeah, he can't be in the coffin. That'd be too easy to find Chris, but that'd be messed up if Chris is in that coffin. That'd be messed up, man, if he is. But I don't think so. You know, he would have been dead, you know. So. But you know, I, I really think, though, I think it's going to give us a clue to whereabouts, but I also think it's going to open up a zombie. I mean, it's a coffin. Okay, it, it's a coffin. 
We're gonna expect the zombie to come out. Okay. So we don't need this key no more. And let's go ahead and collect our death mask here. All four of them. And um our knife. Let's put our knife away. We really don't need our knife. And let's go ahead and open up that bad boy. You know, we've been doing this since what the first second of the episode? We've been anxiously waiting on collecting these death masks, and now that we have all four, oh you best believe I'm excited. You best believe I'm excited. Absolutely. I am excited to open up this damn door. I've been waiting to get through this damn tomb, to get through this damn mansion, to find Chris. All right, to see in the eyes of Jill, what's the difference? Like, what happened? The whole thing with this game is creeping me out. It's like, everywhere that you go, there's a mystery, there's a creepy ass zombie waiting behind it, a crimson head waiting to get back up if you haven't killed them with a headshot or burnt them alive. You have crows just standing there waiting and, and making that noise because you don't know what's going to happen. You got to be careful. You can't just come in here and think you're going to be just easy breezy. Well, some people might, you know, they're the goats at this, so. I don't know, I do this just to see if she moves faster, but apparently she don't. She don't move faster. Alright, so here we go, this creepy ass tomb. And let's put our first one here. Wait, what? Okay, just make a show. Make a show. Wait, which one goes? What? Maybe I'm tripping. Okay, I'm about to say, like, I could have sworn, like, they said, collect these masks. Alright. Okay, that was kind of creepy. Yo, I feel like the moment that boy dropped is on. Alright. No? What the hell? Okay. I don't have time for this. Well, we ready. We got our shotgun ready. Okay, Jill. Be on guard, girl. Oh, nothing? Oh, we got shot. What did I tell you? It's a zombie up in there. Are you kidding me? Okay, he really- Oh, a crimson head already? Okay. When he gets close, we shoot him in the head. Oh, come on, girl. Please. Okay. That's it for you. Oh, man. That just scared the hell out of me. He ran towards my ass. I didn't think he was going to get up that quick. There's a switch. and press it. Oh, we absolutely taking you. And let's hurry up and get our asses out of here before that guy wakes up and gets our ass. You know what would be so funny? If he just started getting up and right in front of right behind me. I'm going to laugh so hard, man. All right, so let's look at this piece. Stone, the metal object. Uh, this definitely goes outside. It has the same emblem. It has the same thing in the back. This definitely goes outside. So let's go ahead and go back out. Go through this gate. Hopefully, these two zombies I killed in my previous episode are not up. Hopefully, they're laying there still. Dogs or wolves howling. Man, I swear these zombies better not get up. Cool. Let's go. Oh man. I feel like every time I walk through a door, there's a, a, a mystery behind it. Every time. 
All right, this got to be, this got to work. Cool. All right, new location. I have no idea what this is. So I'm always on guard. They're giving us ammo and first aid. Feel like something happening. Feel like something about to happen. Battery pack. Well, it is something. Oh, most definitely they they up to something. If they giving us these tools, is they definitely expecting something big? Gotta be. Alright, so what to say? This seems to be some kind of signpost. Each direction is accompanied by corresponding direction. North, south, east, and west. Okay. Who that was? I, that has to be Barry. Stay away from the forest outside of the mansion. Uh, I think we're gonna go that way because you know we got to. Jill is curious, of course. The gate will open when the guard dogs desire are fulfilled. And what are they desire? A statue with red eyes. The encryption reads: "The war cry of revenge." I have no idea. The statue of blue eyes, the encryption reads, the last gas of destruction. Hmm. Okay, just stop turning around, girl. My controller went on that bullish ish today. Um Press it, it's blue, so I have no idea. Uh, no. So maybe if I try not have them looking at each other, then uh, maybe it'll open, or do they have to look at each other? I might be wrong. Let's see. Hmm? Oh! Okay. Well, that was easy. That was easy. So, go through this door. Am I going to be expect? Jill, you turn around one more time. So, go through this door. I'm, I'm expecting Monster with Chains. Okay? Uh, okay, they chasing me. I didn't think they were gonna get up and chase me. Oh, come on, man. When the wind sweeps across the earth, stars will shine in the heavens. Alright, so that gotta be that wind crest I picked up in my previous episode. So I guess if I put it there, absolutely gonna get something or something's gonna come from the grave. I have no idea. What the hell? Okay. That was a uh, kind of kind of creepy. Am I hearing footsteps or what? What the hell? Am I hearing shit? Maybe that's just me being paranoid. <laughs> Like, I don't know where that noise is coming from. Look, whatever that was, I just growled. If this is in this house, listen, we about to get whatever it is that's in this house and gone. We're going to leave. We're not about to stay up in here.
fireplace. Somebody live here. Man, is that a dead body? It looks like no one's used in a long time. In a long time? Cool. Alright, so, uh, what did I just say? Get that wind crest. Get that wind crest. Uh, I'm not sure what to expect at this point, so I'm gonna still hold on to the shotgun and the pistol. And, um, yeah. Let's save real quick. Real quick, just in case. Just in case. Because I have a feeling that this creepy monster, whatever it was, wait a minute, family picture. There's a journal left by someone. Daddy attached. Daddy attached first mom. Attached stung. Inside red and slimy white and hard. Not true mom. Where? Don't know dad. Our mom again. Why attach mommy? She moved no more. She's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. Mom where? I miss you. <laughs> so okay. I'm assuming this the creature in the chains is Lisa because they've been they've been throwing that name around for a minute now. So let's go ahead and save. Yeah, I'm assuming the creature in the chains is Lisa because I'm pretty sure they did like a lot of experiments on her and her mother and father. So maybe they just left her alone on a whim. Like they didn't really want to mess with her anymore. I'm not sure. Maybe it's the mom. I'm not sure who it is in these chains. But I'm assuming it's Lisa because every piece of document that I picked up when it comes to Lisa, it always talks about her and her family. So. Oh, uh, we got a crane. Okay. Alright, so long. The fuck? What the fuck? Oh, okay, let's go ahead and shoot this girl before we get any... Oh my god. Oh my, are you serious? Do we have to shoot this girl? Oh! God damn! Okay, uh, I'm nervous. I can't see anything. Jill keep turning around. Every time I come with a monster, they wanna... My controller wanna be on that bullshit. Wait, it's only she getting faster. Okay, you move kind of slow, so let's go ahead and juke you. Oh my god, did you see that right hook? She rocked Jill in the face. <laughs> Ooh, Jill, you gotta go lay down on that one, man. God damn, so that gotta be the mama or Lisa, one of the two wrapped in chains. Okay, let's, let's hurry up and get the hell up out of here, man. the fuck? Wait, am I going backwards or I'm going backwards? These camera angles. Okay, stop going backwards. Okay, what the hell? I hear a zombie, but I don't see. What the fuck? Okay, you guys are everywhere. Okay, no need to shoot you. No need. Let's just run. Let's just run, Jill. Get out of here, Jill. Get out of here, please. That boy got back up to. Oh, it feel like he right behind me. That's why this shit creepy. <laughs> the game is creepy, man. Let's go ahead. If you turn around one more time, Jill. Okay, my controller, like, is is fighting against me for some reason. All right, let's definitely put this press here, man.
Okay. This is Amenes. So they definitely pieces to something. I'm gonna say there's an icon depicting a star. There's nothing. There's a button on it. Oh, okay. So let's, I mean, but still, like, what's the point? No, 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 no. Let's do all of them like that. I'm assuming they go to the grave next to me. So press all these buttons and put them down. I think that's what happens. Let's hurry up and do this before these crows decide to eat my ass alive. Are you serious? We have a magnum? Oh, we not we not using you. We only gonna use you, my guy, until if there's something big, something big time. We ain't gonna use this damn magnum until something big comes up. Absolutely. All right, so let's actually let's look at this crane. I never even examined it. Um, nothing unusual. Okay, nothing unusual. Yo, this music is like, it gives me chills every time, man. <laughs> like every time I hear it, it gives me the chills. Okay. I feel like if I go back to that mansion, hell's going to break loose. Zombies going to be everywhere, especially the ones that I just killed. Okay, so we're going to another location. I have no idea where this will lead. So maybe, just maybe. Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Shit, it's broken. Okay, Brad, you are a uh, uh, site for. Ooh. I don't know how many bullets I have left. Okay, how many bullets I have in a shotgun? Okay. I'm so nervous I'm examining the uh, shotgun rounds. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. Looks like I took care of them all. And we have a green herb. And it looks like a blue herb. Alright, so we definitely want to combine you two, of course. Why not? Why not combine you two? You know what I'm saying? We gotta combine you two. Why not? We're just not gonna leave you there. Just chilling. Okay, so you guys were out doing something. Yo, Jill is fighting me. You know, I'll buy me a new controller. I can't deal with this. Oh, what the hell is down there? I have no idea. Okay, so they were definitely guarding something. It was three dogs right here, three Dobermans. Can we go through here? Yo, I'm so happy we're making a lot of progress going through this game. I did not think that this shit was going to be like this, but there's some risk or just we haven't. I feel like we're going to end up meeting them two fighting or something like duking it out. You hear the sound of the waterfall in the distance. It's lagging a little bit. The video was lagging a little bit. Uh, don't know what's going on. Hmm. 
Hmm. Jill, if you keep turning around, girl, stop. <laughs> what in the, I feel like this whole thing with my controller really is going to get me killed. Okay. We're going down in the dark. I don't know what's down here. We got crows, so let's walk because apparently now they chase you if you're running. So wait, they still chase you even if you. Oh snap! They still chase you even though you've been walking. Even though I walk, they still chase you. Hmm. Okay, we got another, we got more green herbs. Oh, red herb. Okay. Whoa! What the hell? We got snakes. What the fuck? Oh, come on, man. We into this door mighty quiet. Okay, let's combine this herb. Can we do this? Okay, well, yeah, we can definitely do this. We probably got the most powerful herb at this point. We got poison herbs here. Poison herbs? And... Yo, I don't know. It's, they got this creepy background music. <laughs> I don't know what, what the hell is in this area. So. Oh, cool. We got a save point. Oh, I'm liking this. Okay, we got a save point. Everything all cool, man. Battery pack. A ribbon. Let's go ahead and do you. Let's save this bad boy. Mm -mm. So we're making tremendous progress, man. And I think we're getting closer to finding Chris and Wesker. I think we're finding... We're getting really close, I feel like. Because... I mean, we're making our, ourselves outside of the mansion to finding Lisa wrapped up in chains, or I'm assuming that's Lisa, you know, with the haymaker that broke Jill's jaw, or that could be her mom, I'm not sure, but every document I picked up always talked about Lisa or her family. So I'm going to leave this episode here, man. If you enjoyed the episode, go ahead and leave a like and comment. Tell me what you think. If you got any tips for me, for a person who's brand new to the series, go ahead, leave a comment. Tell me what I should be doing better in these episodes because I have no idea what the next episode is going to take me or bring me. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, man, because we are family here, bro. And I love you guys, man. So see you guys next time on my Resident Evil HD Remastered episode, man. See you guys later. Shit been crazy.